All right. <clears throat> Okay, we got four. Got four of these uh, dungeon quills that I have left to make. I've saved the best for last. I told you guys that I would go ahead and um, a lot of you guys requested to see what these look like and see the process of these uh, particular uh, pens being turned on the lathe. This is basically all that I have left. I got uh, all these pretty much done this morning. And now I'm uh, ready to do the best of the best, shall we say. And we're going to start with this one right here, which is made from uh, ebony and holly and also some walnut. So hopefully these do really well on the lathe and uh, we'll give it a shot here. You'll be able to see the, the one thing that's going to be interesting is you're going to be able to see the Celtic knot here uh, start to appear as we turn. It's actually pretty remarkable. So let's... Uh, Let's start take our time and take some light cuts and do a good job on these. Also, if you guys have any questions or anything, by all means, uh, th throw them down in the chat. I should be able to see what I'm doing here and answer any questions that you may have. All right, so I'll turn this off here. You can start to see the Celtic knot start to start to appear. As it's as it's actually turned within here, so it's actually starting to look really nice. It's not complete yet. You can see I got to go a little bit more there. And I actually got to turn it down to these bushings, so it's really going to look spectacular when it's done. There it is. You can see it really coming out good. I got to go down a little bit more in the middle, but it's actually down to the bushings here, so I just got to take it down a little bit more in the middle. And that'll all get sanded out, and it should look uh, pretty nice in that actual final sanding. But you can see that Celtic knot just start to appear there. That's really cool. Now, this part right here is also going to look really cool. Uh, because uh, what you're going to end up doing is you're going to end up seeing these little pieces of walnut on the corners here. And you can, these are actually going to become like little wedges uh, that are actually appearing here. But this is, this is going to also look pretty cool. So let's do the, the front half of the pen here now.
you see what I started to mean? You can see these here, these wedges starting to appear on the actual side. It's starting to look really excellent here. Uh, the middle is also uh, middle is also made of holly, and that'll have to be. Uh, this is a little bit different grain pattern than this piece, so it'll get turned down, and uh, it'll look pretty good when it gets done. Also makes it a little hard to actually turn that. There it goes, it's starting to look pretty good. I'd like to give it about like a half turn. That usually makes, uh, changes any difference in the bushings or anything like that. Keeps it centered. And now I'll take my final pass. And we can stand this up. A little too thick in the middle too. It's a little too thick. It looks a little too chubby. There we go. All right, let's sand these down, and that pen will be uh, done. It can move on to the uh, the next one, and eventually I, I finish all these at the same time, and then I obviously. Uh, I'll put them all together at the same time. So I probably won't show you that. That's going to take a a lot longer before I actually go ahead and get to um, uh, get to that process here. But we'll start off some new sandpaper. Gonna work our way up through the grits here. From 150 all the way to 600 grit. Really puts a nice sheen shall we say on it. It'll look nice when it gets done. All right, got them all lined up. And you do use the lathe to sand them. It allows you to sand to the rest of the way to those bushings. Adam Kenyon is watching. I get a message here. Hey, Adam, how you doing, man? Haven't talked to you in a long time, sir. Hope college is going well. Damn these bad boys. Just got to stand to the bushing. We can go to the next grit. Like I said, we're right now at we're at 150 grit. And that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Start look pretty good. Not bad. Go to our next grit. Okay. Let's 
320 grit. Four hundred grit. Get a bush in there. Six hundred grit. Oh. She looks here. All right, just need to do a little bit of cleanup on this. I can do that a little bit later. In fact, maybe I'll do it now. Or with the grain and you can usually get some of that ebony out of there. I'll, uh... But then you just got to finish this one and pop it together and it's, it'll be pretty good. I'll move on to the next one while we're waiting on this one. So. There. Let's do this one. There's a different set of bushings with like darn near every pen kit you buy, so it takes a it's not exactly you know, about bushings are like five bucks a piece, but they're not too bad, but at the same time, you can see how they can add up. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different kinds of pen kits, so. There we go. Pressure on there. Okay. This one's actually a pencil that the guy went ahead and wanted. a little bit thinner than the last one the same as you can see the Celtic knot's gonna be is starting to appear in the middle I just got to take it down a little bit more and that's gonna pop right out and you can see the wingy little corner or these little wedges are gonna look really nice when it gets done too
see how it looks. There you go. It really looks nice with that knot right in there. And it should get sanded down nice and flush. It, because of the different grain directions and things like that, you can feel it feels a little bumpy, but as soon as you sand that down, it's gonna look it's gonna be great. So I just gotta take it down the whole thing down a little bit more. Uh, this actually is right there at the bushing, which is nice. Just go on the back end and we should be good. This one looks great. These ones seem to look a little bit better when they're skinnier with the kit, so they look a little bit skinnier. Sand this one down, and then number two will be pretty much done. Yeah, we definitely got to sand that down good. More sandpaper. Anybody watch Game of Thrones last night? It's ridiculously incredible. A huge Game of Thrones fan. I actually expected more people to die last night. I'm surprised none of the real main characters didn't die. But I tell you, that was some of the best TV that you're just ever going to see. We're really, truly in the golden age of television right now. The total pop culture weekend with Avengers and then it was Game of Thrones. Didn't really pay much attention to the NFL draft, but that's okay. All right, the so last one. Boom. And that is going to be somebody's custom gaming pencil. I think they're going to be incredibly, incredibly happy with this. All right, I'm just gonna put, I'll actually put a little oil on it to bring out some of the color here. You'll be able to see. He 
needs to be oiled anyways. There you go. <laughs> that is uh, pretty impressive. That is really, really incredible. That guy is going to be super excited about this. All right, on to the next one. This one goes over here, and let's do another one of these, I guess. Basically, it took me the better part of about two and a half days to glue up all of these these blanks, and it just takes forever. And you got to do it right. If you don't do it right, it unfortunately it's pretty terrible, and you don't get good results. So you got to really take your time to get these things glued up correctly and properly. There we go. Not sure if I like the, the maple kind of top on this. That is what was requested by the client, but I don't know. I think it'd be better as maybe more purple. I think it would look better as purple. And just kept that. I don't know, we'll see what it looks like. It's possible that it'll it'll look better once it's turned down. But it's still gonna be turn out it's still gonna be a nice pen, regardless here. This is a roll this is gonna be a roller ball, a junior gent roller ball, which are pretty nice, big, heavy duty pens. Unlike the the pencil that we just made. Alrighty here. Okay, let's see. I'll load it up here. It takes literally a tenth of the time, a fifteenth of the time to put these on the lathe and turn them down as it does to prepare everything to be able to, before you can even do it. Well, that's the way it goes. Notice I actually keep this at an angle. The reason you keep it as an angle is because it actually shears a little bit better. And you don't get any like chip out or anything like that. As you're doing it, it's less likely. It's also a, a pretty fresh carbide cutter. Because keep it super sharp. You don't need as much effort. Don't catch and cause a explosion of something you literally spent two hours to three hours gluing together and you see it's starting to come out that's the purple heart celtic knot not complete yet though this particular way is of segmenting we call it the celtic knot segmenting uh I have another i have a couple different other segmenting options than what i normally offer to clients a little bit bumpier than I like, but I'll just stand it down to the same. that looks like there you go it's almost there you can see there's a little bit left I got to do there and definitely got to do it here so I got to take it down in the middle a little bit more we're real close to the bushings on the outside
There we go. A little bit of a... Is that a hole? Looks like I'll have to... No, i got to go a little farther. It's not there yet. Might have to fill that hole with some purple sawdust. That can do pretty easy. right there I think I can just fill that in with a little bit of CA and that's what I'll do right now let's fix that right now might be hard to tell but there's a tiny tiny little gap here we're gonna make this appear and wherever it went is that it right there well it's so small probably won't even be there once we sand but let's take a little bit of super glue Fill in that tiny little hole. That's probably a little too much super glue. We'll hit it with some activator here and that'll instantly dry the super glue. And any other gaps we may be able to see here. Everything else looks pretty good. That literally turned out nice. Turn it there? Yep. Let's get rid of that. It's freshly dried super glue. sanded down nice. In fact, I'll probably I'll have to leave that right there for now. Okay, let's work on the other side. Look really look nice. Very happy with that. It's a little bit too thick. It's got to come down to the bushings here a little bit more, but it's starting to look really excellent. That actually won't look too bad, I don't think. I still would have think would have put made those purple heart on the ends. I think it would have looked a little bit nicer, but it'll be okay.
probably still thick in the middle. That's pretty good there. That's good there. Let's do this. hit on some of these. paper time. Part in the air compressor in the background, guys. Things so annoying. It goes off every half hour or so. Probably just get a new one. It's always a little bit the hardest to make sure it gets right, but yeah, that purple heart really looks nice down here. It's still a little thick in the middle. I think I want to sand it a little bit more in the middle. This is good over here. better. Good. Alright, let's go to the next grid. Yeah. 
400 grit. We'll go to 600 grit and this one will be done. JC Kowal is watching. I just got a message here. Hi, JC. What's up, man? I haven't talked to you in the longest time. I miss you guys down in Ohio. In Ohio. I believe you're in Dayton still, right? I believe you're in Dayton. But, man, oh, man. I haven't talked to you guys. It's been way too long, dude. look like all right start that's pretty good actually I'm gonna hit it with a little bit I'm gonna back off and get a fresh piece of sandpaper it looks like it's a little polluted fresh sandpaper will help there we go that fixes that sometimes if you get the bushings the the bushings lay off a real fine metallic there we go and it gets in the maple and you can kind of see it you don't want that this is better though yeah sorry for the shakiness on the camera guys I have this uh, chest mounted alien looking thing that's holding my phone as I'm doing this my wife really made fun of me a lot when I showed her this thing yeah I should be me yeah look at that I'm gonna clean it off with some alcohol maybe that'll probably help Clean it up with some alcohol, then it should really get some of that gunk out of there. I'm seeing. I wonder if you have something super, super expensive and super tiny. It's kind of got to be perfect. Yeah, you can see all the stuff I'm pulling up there. This is what I'm always aiming for. Thanks, Ricky. I appreciate it. Yeah, that, that worked out good. I can just cover up that with the clip, too. What's up with that? All right. Let's pull this out of here. And we got one left. And this one I'm actually super excited for. So again, this is what we've gone ahead and done. We did the Celtic knot with the uh, ebony and holly. I did these earlier today. This one really is, is incredible. Really excited about this one. And uh, then we just have this one right here, which is made out of a whole bunch of crazy stuff. This is made from Bacote. Some people call it Bacotti. I don't think it matters too much. It's made from, so the Bacotti actually are the sides. It has Wangi on the ends, and this is, these are really gonna turn out nice when they get done. And it has some zebra wood in the actual center, and this is actually made of zebra wood to the central thing here. So as you turn this, again, you gotta be super careful that you don't want this thing to just explode on you because when you spend two and a half hours gluing the combination of these two pieces up, that it is not always necessarily the most fun. Have them go back and redo something like that. Yeah, these are pens. Uh, actually, most of them are pens, Ricky. Uh, the one that I made over here, I'll just go ahead and show you this. Uh, most of these are going to be pens. The, the pens, the only pencil that I, that's out here right now is this one will actually become a pencil. 
Uh, it'll have like a, uh, a three millimeter lead and it has nice big thick lead. Uh, and that kit will be, it'll all get, get put together either tonight or tomorrow whenever I get through with all these. But yeah, these are, these are larger rollerball pens that uh, are really gonna look nice when they get done. As long as this one does not, this will be my last one too, as long as it doesn't get exploded on the, on the wood lathe here. All right, so here we go. Take our time. Thanks, Aaron Walter. You can see how this one's starting to turn out here. This was always so much fun to turn because it almost looks like fish scales. The way you segment these is you cut it one way and then you cut it another way on top of it. So when you're done with it, you can see it almost looks like fish scales. And it, this pattern continues kind of around the actual pen itself. This is probably, man, between the, the Celtic nut one is cool. I almost I don't, I don't even know which one I like more either the Celtic not more this disjointed one which is which is really incredible too you'll see what this side is even going to look better here the uh, it hey Ricky the it, it actually depends on the style kit and it depends on another thing I can the the uh, these are Kickstarter pens that I we that I launched through Kickstarter. Uh, the option for having them segmented, just the segmenting option, is uh, depending on the segmenting option, it starts at like a hundred bucks. So if you're going to actually get the, uh, if you're going to actually get something that is, uh, if it's a more if it's more an expensive pen, it'll be obviously up and over above that amount. But what you can do is, you, if you actually go to Kickstarter and uh, search for dungeon quills you can kind of see how the price breaks down and some of the different ones that i can offer so the hold on, let me see if i can see the rest of yeah she likes the whole celtic not druid thing yeah that is that is kind of on theme that's for sure so
looks like I have to fill in this little section here. But you can see, that I'll have to see if I can fix. I might have that piece. But you can see this bottom here. It's a really cool, like Celtic knot actually coming into that band of zebra wood right there, which looks really good. I'm not gonna actually go ahead and, uh, yeah, I might take it a, a little bit more in the center here, but this is looking really, really, really nice. That's better. Okay. So I'm just going to sand this one end down. I got to fix that, but and I'll do that actually after I stop the stream. But uh let's finish this one up. Excellent. See how the pattern, all those little fish scales lead into that band of zebra wood there. It looks really, really, really nice. That's going to be sweet. Run our way up through the grits. We'll be done. this came out I'm very excited about this pen all right guys i'm gonna kill the video here thanks for tuning in and watching if you guys ever have any questions or anything like that you know how to get a hold of me just send me a message on facebook or uh check out my website erin kane custom boxes.com until next time signing out <laughs>